What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Killerless is back from the video. Oh, man, niggas. I am now in my new apartment. Um, it's going to get some getting used to, you know, because the scenery is a little bit different. Um, my setup is now in my living room instead of being in my bedroom so I can have more room to do whatever the fuck I want to do, man. I'm so excited, man. I can now make vids whenever I want. I can now stream as late as I want. I can do whatever I want now. Expect a shit ton of content coming. Right after I upload this video, I'm probably gonna go live on Twitch or my second channel, just because I can. Anyways, I've been offline for a few days, man. I've just been focusing on moving and I come back online. I'm like, what video should I do? Don't wanna come back and do She-Hulk. No, no, I'm not ready for that yet. Let's do Jeremy Johns. He's trending on Twitter, huh? Twitter mob is mad at Jeremy Johnson. I want to say something before I get to this video. I am not on the left. I am not on the right. I am not a political person. Uh, fuck the Democrats. Fuck the Republicans. Fuck the left. Fuck the right. I'm in independent. I'm in my own lane. Because I have figured out over years of looking at many YouTubers who take a side in this political culture war. When you do one thing... That said side doesn't like, they'll turn on you. They'll turn on you and fucking drop you like a hot potato. I'm not doing that. I'm an independent, okay? Just to let you know, I don't want someone in my comment call me an alt-right grifter because I hate the alt anti woke community. I can't stand them, okay? And some most sometimes I can't stand the left either. I'm in my own lane, so I don't even try to try this shit. I'm the perfect person to talk about this. Jeremy Johns reviewed a movie from a right-wing person called Matt Walsh. He made a movie about him being racist. It's like a troll comedy thing. I'm not watching it because I don't give a fuck about The Daily Wire. It's garbage. Because And they produced Mr. Bertram. And I fucking hate Mr. Bertram. I'm not even going to try that. But I watched his review of it because a lot of people are pissed off at him. And I didn't hear him say anything bad. He didn't say anything disrespectful, distasteful. He didn't say anything wrong that really came out to me like, oh, he's an anti-woke grifter. No, he really stayed in the middle and he broke down whether or not the film is good and the talking points of the film. He didn't say anything wrong. He didn't say anything fucking negative. So I'm trying to figure out why are people mad at him? We have this dumbass. Matt Jarbo trying to start this cancel culture train. I hate cancel culture because most of the time these losers, these anime profile wearing virgins go after people that don't deserve to be canceled because they said something that they disagree with politically. They want to cancel. Them. What the fuck? Midlife crisis. Jeremy Johns is not the villain is not the villain origin story. I was expecting. Mind you, he did not watch this video. He did not go through this video. He just saw him review a movie called Am I Racist and jumped to try to cancel him. He's just hating on Jeremy Johns. Jeremy Johns is a fantastic reviewer. He's fantastic. He keeps it real. He gives us honest opinion. He doesn't fuck around. He gets to the point. You're in and out. You know what to expect. Whenever I watch a Jeremy Johns review of a movie I'm about to see, it actually gives me good insight going into said movie. <laughs> my fucking ring light fell <laughs> in the middle of recording. Oh my God. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, the cancel culture mob or after J uh, after Jeremy Johns, almost said James Gunn. And then Matt Jabo said, I made fun of Jeremy Johns. It triggered Matt Walsh and his snowflakes. This is hysterical to me. No, you tried to cancel Jeremy Johns over nothing over nothing these are one of these fucking virgins on the internet that sit around trying to get mad at anything or everything listen unlike you matt jarbo i have a life i don't sit on the internet all day waiting to get mad at someone for no reason put down the lotion put down the towel leave this motherfucker alone and move on we got more people angry at jeremy johns some years ago he did blackface. He was portraying Blade. I want to tell y'all that this was 14 years ago. This was 14 years ago. Jeremy Johns is 43 right now. This was when he was 29 years old. 
Back then, times were different. Back then, you could do shit like this and people didn't care because we weren't a bunch of snowflakes. We didn't get mad over everything. Do I agree with what he did? Putting this blackface shit on? No, I think this was fucking stupid. He never should have done this. But back then, society didn't care. This was years ago. Look at this. Yeah, was this stupid and dumb? Yes, I agree. But he was in his late 20s. He's now a 40-something-year-old man. If this happened like two years ago, three years ago, maybe four, I could have been like, oh, yeah, this ain't good, Jeremy. But this was over a decade ago when society was different. You guys are trying to push, put everything out to try to cancel this man, to try to get rid of this man. I'm doing this to say something. I'm doing this to say something. Look at this. Review every episode the Acolyte to boot yourself on YouTube's Chud algorithm. Give Matt Walsh's Am I Racist a positive score. Twilight review. So this was during his Twilight movie review. When, 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 did, when did Twilight come out? Twilight. Twilight came out in 2008. This was 2008 when he did this shit. So the, like, like, why are we going back in time and digging up YouTubers past sh bullshit that they did when decades before even some of these idiots were even born. Why? I don't get this. Jeremy John's review, Am I Racist is fair and doesn't deserve the criticism it received? Exactly. He just reviews the movie. That's all he does. He didn't say anything racist. He didn't say anything disrespectful. But Twitter is mad at him. In a world of Jeremy John's being Chris Tuckman. Chris Tuckman sucks. He's trash. He's a terrible reviewer now. He's boring as hell, and he doesn't even give ratings to the movies he reviews. What type of movie reviewer reviews a film and doesn't even give a rating to it? That's so stupid. Jeremy is better than Chris Stuckman. I don't dislike Chris Stuckman as a person, but his content has went downhill. Jeremy Johns, ignore these fucking idiots. This was a good review. Leave it up. Let them scope see them all. Never apologize for anything on the internet. You stick to your fucking guns. Always. Doesn't matter how many people get pissed off. You speak your mind. You speak your truth. Because who else is going to do it? Who gives a shit if people... I don't care if people get mad at me in my comment section. Dislike and leave. Go fuck yourself. I'm sick and tired of these fucking hentai-loving virgins on the internet going after people like Jeremy Johns. This dude did not say one thing during this video to warrant even an attempt of cancellation. Was this good? No, it was dumb. But this was 14 years ago. Who gives a shit? Sorry, I'm not super sensitive. I'm not a fucking pussy like most of you are. I don't agree with this. This was wrong. This was stupid. But I can forgive this. Because this is over a decade ago and he doesn't do this shit anymore. And I guarantee you he's ashamed of this himself. That's it. Second child looking schedule on my Twitch. Like, subscribe, favorite. Let's do 30 likes for my return to YouTube. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait for tomorrow's stream. We're about to do fresh and fit, niggas. Uh, Discord link in the pinned comment. I'm getting the hell up out of here. Outro. Hit it.